A court hearing was supposed to be scheduled for today, focusing on that estate fight, but it was canceled at the last minute. We did, however, hear from Micah's family attorney at a press conference, and she is pushing for justice. Let's go now to News Nation's Rich McHugh live now. First of all, Rich, what was the estate all ab fight all about, and what did the family attorney have to say today? Hi, Elizabeth. So this was actually a divorce proceeding that was scheduled before Micah uh, was found dead. This was so. This was a pre-existing thing. Sierra, her sister, has now taken over as uh, guiding her estate. So she, they were in court to to hash things out. But they did not have that that hearing last minute. They both sides submitted an agreement. They came to some terms. I want to read them. Uh, they re agreed to return property to Micah's family, which one of the things that they're all concerned about is the phone. They want her cell phone to see who she was talking to. Uh, they've agreed to do that once the authorities release it uh, and are done with it. They've also agreed that there's going to be a restraining order on both sides for their protection. They can't contact each other in any way, can't release photos to the media or anything of that nature. They're also pushing for a new bill uh, they want to call Micah's Law. It's about coercive control. Here is Regina Ward, their attorney. Take a look. A lot of people suffer in silence over this, and this, if it gets passed, should be an empowering moment for those who are a victim of it. Thank Justice you. For Micah. Justice for Micah! Guilty! Now, Ward would not address questions. I asked her directly about the FBI and the extent that she is talking to them. If she is talking to them, she would not address that, Elizabeth. Boy, it's something about the tension between the two sides, John Paul Miller, the pastor, and estranged husband, and Micah's family, that there are mutual restraining orders? That's what they said. You know, she said that there, there hasn't necessarily been a need for this, but we're making it on both sides. They've oh. agreed to do it on both sides. And then in the meantime, we have uh, new court filings from the pastor's first wife, Allison, who we talked about last night with Micah's dad, because Allison was very supportive of Micah in her allegations of abuse against her husband, who was Al also Allison's husband first. <laughs> I'm having I'm having an audio difficulty, but I'll I'll try and just relay what I have. Um, Allison, she has basically filed this complaint and saying that uh, she's seeking temporary custody of her children, children that she has with John Paul. She's asking that he undergo a psych evaluation. She says John Paul has exhibited increasingly unstable behaviors. Williams alleged in her complaint his mental health has increasingly deteriorated and has demonstrated behavior patterns that are erratic and irrational. Now, evidence in this document is a text from Micah to Allison from March, and it reads, Hey, Allie, it's Micah. I need to talk to you ASAP for the safety of your kids. Please call me. Now, I asked JP for comment. He wrote to me this morning. He said, I've been told not to submit anything to the court at this time. Uh, I'm not sure if you can still hear me, Elizabeth. I'm having audio difficulty, so I'm going to toss it back to you. I can hear you, Rich. Can you hear me? It feels like we're we're playing with a. a t can you hear me? Yeah. No, we caught all of that. Um, that's I can. Yeah. No, I can. Okay. Uh, that's extraordinary that she's now trying to take full custody of the kids. We do know from the father yesterday uh, that the two women were working closely together, had bonded uh, uh, over their mutual battles with uh, John Paul. Rich McHugh, thank you so much, and thank you all of you for joining thank us tonight. You.